Having the needed skill sets in the emergence of a fire outbreak cannot be overemphasized. There is an urgent need for everyone to equip him or herself on how to quench fire when the need arises. In my training, I learned that we have various types of fire extinguishers. We have the carbon dioxide type, which is one of the cleanest types of extinguishers to use because it leaves no residue and receives or requires no cleanup. We also have water extinguishers, wet chemical fire extinguishers, dry chemical extinguishers, and what have you. We have even foam fire extinguisher, then clean agent fire extinguishers, electrical fire extinguishers, ABC powder fire extinguishers, and so on and so forth. Now let's see in the ensuing video what or how we have to go about it when the need arises. And perhaps you together the carry to try your hands on with a, an official or a certified fire warden around so that you can also equip yourself. Very important. Mm -hmm. They are trying the sack way, the blanket way of quenching fire. Especially when clothes of a person catches fire, a blanket can be used as an extinguisher. Blanket cuts off the oxygen supply, the fire. Fire blankets are made of a sheet of woven fire resistant materials designed to extinguish small fires. They work by smothering the fire and cutting off its oxygen supply. Well, in our pink, you can see the jute. Yeah, it should be very heavy to hold it. Mm. <laughs> I've tried it before. This one is normally used in the kitchen. Mm. What if you don't have this kind of sack in your house? Blanket. Can use blanket. There's some blanket I came out.
It is important to always prevent fire from occurring, especially for those who use the kitchen mostly. You may need to leave the room, the kitchen, even for just a moment, turn off the stove, keep your cooking area free of any combustible materials, keep anything that can catch fire, such as food packaging, oven mitts and towels, away from your door and stove top. Now, as your fire warden, I want to teach you the simple way of quenching fire. Have this one always in your mind. Pass. It's an acronym. That's pull, aim, squeeze, sweep. You pull the pin, as in one, in the pick above. You aim nozzle at base of fire. Then three, you squeeze the handle. As in the pick, then you sweep the nozzle side to side, right? Left to right, left to right, like you go, you aim at the fire, then that's it. Mm -hmm. 